All right, what's going on guys? Max here with RC Window Films. Today we're gonna to be doing a installation of Dow Corning 995. Now, one of the things with Dow Corning 995 is it's absolutely essential to install on the edges. Uh, and the reason why is because it seals the edge uh, with the film. So essentially it's sealing the film to the edge of the window um, or sliding glass door in this particular case and it makes it all structurally sound. Now, if you just install security film without a Dow Corning 995, you're essentially just making the glass go in one piece. So if it does break, somebody can easily just push it in and they've got access. Once you seal it to the frame of the window itself, it makes it so much stronger and able to do what you're looking for, which is securing your building or your home from an intruder and giving you that valuable time. So let's get into it. So right here, I've got a Dow Corning 995. This is manufactured by Dow Corning. Now Dow Corning makes several different types of silicones. This particular silicone is a structural uh, application. So there's a massive difference between 795, which is simply to hold the glazing in, 995 is for structural. This stuff is ideal for securing security film to the glass. Now. It does come in different colors. If you wanted the edge to be black, obviously, use the black. If you wanted it to be white, use the white. In our case, we think it's gonna look so much better with white than it would black, and that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, so here's some of the things that I need to do this job. With this, I've got a, you don't necessarily need one of these guys, you can go with the manual gun. I have this on hand, so I'm gonna use this guy. Your Dow Corning 995, an Ulfa blade, to cut the Dow Corning 995, and we found these guys on Amazon. Now these make it so nice to apply a great bead, and we're only doing a quarter inch bead with this guy. Um, now, others will say that, hey, you should tool it. Honestly, with tons of installations that we've done, we've done it this way, we've tested it, it works very, very well and it gives you a great finish without having to tool and it lays the right amount for your application. Ideally for security film, you want a full one inch bead that is squared off. So it's got a 45 degree angle with a half inch on one side and a half inch on the other, making it a total of one inch. That is ideal for commercial installation, for residential installation. You don't typically have a metal frame. So in this particular case, we're doing a quarter inch and that's what we can do. And that is the application for residential. So let's get started. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take my guy off here. I'm gonna get this pulled back. I'm gonna verify that this is a white Dow Corning and it is. I'm gonna get that guy set in, push her out, squeeze this top edge. And if you notice on the right hand side, I went ahead and just put a little quick paper towel. And the reason why I do that is I like to just discard this guy here, right there. Now I'm gonna use my silicone guide here, set this on the edge, grab my cap, get that set. Now what I like to do is I like to just firmly press down and that's gonna bring the sealant up and through just like that. As far as setting, I like to put mine between just about three. What you heard there is actually this pulling back so it doesn't allow this to continue traveling forward. What I like to do is start right around the middle and drag my blade up. There you go. It's very important to clean your tip every time. Now I'm gonna start from the top and I'm gonna bring this down. It's a nice quarter inch bead. Again, I'm gonna start from the bottom, work my way up. Clean off your tip. I literally have not used this gun in probably 
four weeks and it takes a little getting used to. If you notice on the corners, what I like to do is get right to the corner and then peel it off. You can spray this. So if I wanted to spray instead of licking my finger, that works just as well too. And there we go. I'm gonna continue onward. I've got that bead pattern now set. Um, it takes a little manipulating, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, you can come up with really nice clean lines. There we go. Now I'm gonna start from the top. Again, cleaning your tip. Done, we've got this really edged off on three sides. And now all we have to do is finish up the bottom. So what I like to do, so I'm gonna start with this hard side right here. And I'm gonna bring it back from this side. My head is pretty clean, so. One last tip is what you can always do is have a little bit of alcohol on hand. And you can always wipe off those edges that kind of just come over the edge, especially a little bit of silicone that comes over the edge rather. So if you get a little bit of silicone that comes over the edge, you can always wipe it with a little bit of alcohol. What alcohol is gonna do is it's, it doesn't allow the silicone to stick to anything else. So you can really easily wipe it off. Um, and that just makes it for a much smoother, cleaner installation. Now, I just pushed that up and I wanna show you guys. So I pushed this up on purpose. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick card. I'm gonna push this guy down where it's level. Okay, give it a quick spray, just so it doesn't adhere to anything. And I'm gonna set it back down, just like so. Now I'm gonna take my card and I'm gonna come straight across to give that a nice clean line. Just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and just work it back down, smooth it out. Make it nice and clean, just like so. All right, we're gonna just double check now. We're gonna look through and make sure we've got full adhesion. We've got a full quarter inch bead all the way around. Um, looks great. It's got full contact. Wanna make sure our little lever works. We're good there. Everything looks solid. now. Right here, if you notice, there's a little bit of excess. Now, if you really wanted to, and you wanna get in there and try to clean it, I'd advise you not to. I'd allow it to cure, then take a paper towel or your hard card and take that piece off once it cures a little bit. If you try messing with it now, the silicone is still wet and it's just gonna be messy and it's gonna, it's gonna be very difficult. So let it cure and then take off those small imperfections later. All right guys, this shows you that you can actually install security film on your own. Now, you might need some additional tools but it's gonna save you a ton of money doing it on your own. If you'd like to install security film by yourself, you certainly can. This is a great way um, you don't have to meet those specifications on a residential um, as far as, so let me back up, I'm all over the place. <clears throat> all right guys, this concludes our security film application. So here's a recap. We installed an eight mil silver uh, security film on this residential sliding glass door. It's a combination film, so it has a solar control component as well as a sec uh, security component. But without a structural sealant, like Dow Corning 995, a manual uh, system, which is actually either taped um, or uh, you know, really uh, screwed into the framing, this is one of the fastest, uh, easiest ways to do a security film application. Now, 
There are some limitations with residential. The, the gaps themselves and, and how wide you can do a silicone bead. Now, is this ideal? No. The manufacturers want to see a half inch on the window and a half inch on the frame, but this is going to do the trick for this particular application. We had about a quarter inch worth of space and that's what we were working with. We opted for a white Dow Corning 995 to match the frames of our windows and I think it looks fantastic. If you guys have any questions in regards to security film, solar control film, or decorative films, we also do custom printing. Give us a call or reach down to us right uh, at the link below, rcwindowfilms.com. And if you wanna know anything about any of the tools that we've used during this installation, all of the links will be in the description below. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.